of it. It's how the New Year started with that bullet just inches from the family pet. It came out of nowhere and into a home on the near north side of Indianapolis just after the clock struck midnight. Call 6 Investigates Paris LaBelle has more on one family's frightening start to 2018 from 32nd and Park. The dog was in the crate, uh, so he was right very close to it. The family dog in his crate upstairs. Downstairs, a get together with friends ringing in the new year. But at the strike of midnight, a bullet comes speeding into the master bedroom, less than a foot away from Cooper. You know, we periodically came up and checked on them and then realized there was a hole in the ceiling. Um, Travis, my boyfriend, thought it was just like a squirrel in the attic or something. Um, and then somebody mentioned check for a bullet, which kind of blew our mind a little bit. They looked around and found a bullet in their bed. At first, it was just like, there's, there's no way. That's bizarre. Like, how does that happen? They called police who came to take pictures and collect the bullet as evidence. God forbid we had children or something sleeping up here. Um, you know, just thankful we're okay. Celebratory gunshots are an issue that doesn't just affect Indianapolis. State police say it happens around the state. Common sense tell you what goes up must come down. We live in a very densely populated area. Um, and because it's densely populated, the likelihood of someone's property being damaged or even someone getting hurt, um, it, that increases quite, quite high. ISP says it's not only dangerous, but illegal. You got uh, charges ranging from misdemeanors all the way up to felonies, depending upon the severity of the crime. Back at Alyssa's house, they say next year they won't be upstairs at all. You know, we definitely already discussed, like, uh, we'll hang out in the basement um, upcoming holidays where people want to shoot guns off. On the near north side, I'm Call 6 Investigates, Paris Lubell.